Hi, I'm Dennis with Render Plus Systems, and I'm going to show you how to quickly render your Revit model. This video will cover how to start AccuRender Next, go over many of the buttons and settings in AccuRender Next, and review the final results. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to render this model using AccuRender Next for Revit. For those of you familiar with SketchUp, we also have a Next for SketchUp that is very similar to AccuRender Next for Revit. Um, and I've made a few videos for the SketchUp version, and they might be worth taking a look at. So to start using AccuRender Next for Revit, you're going to need to be in a 3D view. And you can do that by coming up here and clicking on this 3D view button. And then come up here and click on Next. And then on Control Panel. And when you do that, up pops this Control Panel box. This box controls all the features of AccuRender Next. So I'm gonna quickly go over them now. So the first button I'll talk about is actually the second button here, the Rendering Settings button. This is a very important button. Uh, it lets you control many of the major features that impact your rendering, such as quality and size, shadows and lighting, um, as well as render length. But we'll come back to this one in a little bit. And then the next button over is the Sun and Sky Settings. Here's where you can control the position of the sun. And that can either be done by changing these values down here or by manually adjusting these arms. And then there's the material button. And here's where you can control the attributes of the material. Stuff like glossiness and texture. But we'll go over this in more detail in another video. And lastly, the plant button. And as you can guess, this is where you can edit and ultimately add a tree to your model. Okay, so that's that. Now we're ready to render this model. So first, we just need to find a view that we like, and I'm gonna use one that was predefined for me earlier. And now before I hit the render button, uh, I need to make a couple of changes to the settings. First, come over here and click on the materials button, and make sure that the use object colors box is checked. This is important because when this box is checked, our rendering will have the same colors as we see them on the screen. Then come back to the Rendering Settings button and select Exterior. Obviously this model is outside, so it makes sense to choose this setting because it automatically changes many of these settings down here to match what a rendering outside should look like, such as turning on the sky and shadows and increasing the ambient light. Okay, so now we're ready. We can just come up here and click on the render button. So it's going to take a few seconds to start, and that can change based on how complex your model is. Now the important thing to note down here are the number of passes. The more passes, the better your image will be. So just let it work, and you'll have a great image in the end. And here's the final image. I think it looks pretty good. Notice the uh, soft shadows and highlights created both on the ground and on the house, as well as the transparent windows of the house. Now remember, this was done very quickly, and with only a couple of small changes made to the settings. Now of course you could spend a little bit more time and go back and fine tune all the settings to get just the look you want, but I think this works great for now. Okay, I hope this helps you get started using AccuRender Next for Revit. 